Hey YouTube, back again with another video and today's tutorial is going to be a good little mix up, very creative today and I want to show you the things that you need. One of the things you need are the uh, dotting tools and you would need like the size that would be next to your smallest one, you do not want too big. Then you will need these little forms right here. These are called tip guides. We are going to be using these ones on the end here. This would be like your chevron tip and they are called tip guides. So if you want to know what they are, they're called tip guides and I keep saying the name of them because someone asked me of the name of a product that I use in the video and I said it and I showed the product and I guess they still didn't get it. But anyway, those are called tip guides. You would also need some beautiful sparkling silver nail polish. This is LA Colors. I like to call it bling bling, but this is actually called glitter bomb and it's very, very shiny. You will also need some green glitter. This is my favorite one by Sinful Colors. This is called Call You Later. And you will need green nail polish, your regular green. This is Sinful Colors. This one's called Exotic Green. And also a red. This is Sinful Colors. Cross My Heart. And you will need a small brush for the black nail polish. And you will also need your matte top coat. This is Wet n Wild. And it's wet and wild shine, but it makes it matte when it dries. The last thing you will need are some cute little rhinestones here. So let's just get started. First things first, I'm the realest. Go ahead and open up your red and your green nail polishes. What you're going to do is you're going to grab your red on the dotting tool, on the end of the dotting tool. And you're just going to make a few dots with the red nail polish and a few dots with the green nail polish. Just like that. Now you want to keep your red nail polish close by because the next thing you want to grab are the chevron tip guides right here. And you are going to put five or six of the chevron stickers onto the nail and you you can either disperse them or you can keep them close together it's however you want the design to be and you will polish over the stickers and then pull the stickers up right before the nail polish dries and it's going to leave a beautiful design like that okay now the next thing we are going to do is grab our beautiful silver nail polish and we are going to paint our finger with the silver nail polish now because I am using the white stick on nails it may take a few coats for me to get the full effect of the silver that I want but I really don't feel like being bothered with putting on a lot of coats so what I will do is Put a first coat of gray nail polish onto my nails first and then I will be able to just put one or two coats of the glitter nail polish on my nails on top of that. Now moving on to the next nail, you can paint the next finger green. And what you will do next is come back to your pinky nail and what you will do is grab your black nail polish and we are going to go around those red and green circles with the black and make these leopard nails.
All right, so while we are letting this dry on some of the nails, we can continue on. What you want to do is grab that matte nail polish and go over the leopard and red fingernails. Now here's the thing, when you're dealing with a strong color like the red nail polish, you do not want to actually brush stroke on the nail. You want to dab a little bit at a time so you do not drag the red color throughout the fingernail like that and you do not want to get any of the red nail polish on your brush because then it will get into the bottle and then you will have a hue in your nail polish so that's what you want to do and after that dries if you feel like it you can go back over it but those nails are going to dry matte they will then be matte the next thing you want to grab is the glitter nail polish and if you have or have not already, go ahead and paint the middle nail. Let that dry. Grab your green glitter nail polish and paint your green nail. And then we'll come back and add another coat of this silver glitter on the gray nail. Now remember the rhinestones that we picked up earlier. You are going to pick a few of these and you are going to place them in the crevice like here, here, and here on your nail to really tie in all the glitter thing that we have on and it's going to make the matte nail polish pop out even more. So if you want to, you can add another coat of the matte nail polish and then put the rhinestones on top of it to make them stick. All right, now what I have done, I have put some matte nail polish on my green fingernail and we are going to add the leopard design in red like we did on this finger, but in red because the green will not show up, of course. On this finger, the middle finger, I have some Christmas stickers here and I think I will place the Christmas tree. Now, of course, you can manually draw a Christmas tree or a Christmas wreath, a candy cane, or just leave it plain. It depends on what you wanna do. I am going to use one of these stickers. I think they are so, so cute. And then I will put my leopard on my green nail. All right, now we are pretty much done with this, but I want to keep adding because I like doing this. I just love this stuff and I love adding different things. I found some bows here that I am going to add to the leopard pink, um, leopard pinky nail. I'm going to put it on here. And on the silver nail here, I will add some black leopard spots. As you can see, I did that to the green. And then we have the thumb, which can remain plain if you want it to. I think a, I may add another sticker on this nail. But like I said, you can do it freehand. This is just, you know, the stickers are something to use if you want to do something very, very quickly instead of trying to stress and get everything so perfect. So I'm just going to add my bow and my extra stickers and then we will be done. And there you have it. That is it. I still want to add some more things. I still want to do so much right now. I really do. But that's it. We're going to just keep it really short. I hope you guys like this tutorial. See you in the next one. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Switches. Bye.